Hello, my name is Dean Offord from Panasonic Broadcast and Pro AV. And I'm Sasha Kunze from Mark Roberts Motion Control. And in this video, we'll be demonstrating the Polymotion Chat Pro optimized with Panasonic PTZ camera systems. We'll be going through the setup, applications, demonstrations, and everything else in between. That's right. We'll show you from the top what you need to get started and how to make it work in some of the applications that you have. And if we're lucky, we may even get to see Dean play the guitar. Actually, I'm sorry, the bass. Yes, we can't mix those two up in the music community, so do stay tuned for that special demonstration. So, Sasha, what do we need to get started with this setup? It's actually really simple. Of course, we need our Panasonic PTZ. We need a way to ingest the video into this laptop. Here we have an Azure UTAP taking the 3G SDI into USB. And then we need a laptop capable of running the system. In this case, we have an AMD processor, which is a Ryzen 5000 series, but you can also get an Intel i7 or better. And you need an NVIDIA graphics card. Both the 2000-3000 RTX series are supported. And obviously the software that we have running here right now. So it's super simple to do. We've essentially got PTZ camera, we also have the network switch, and we also have the capture device. In this case, we're taking the 3G SDI. Yeah. And from the Panasonic side, it's also really simple. We have the AWUE150 PTZ camera. This is a really popular option for these types of applications and tracking. But as well as this, we have the AWUE100 4K PTZ, and that can also do full bandwidth NDI, which I believe your system can ingest. Yeah, and we can even control the cameras themselves over NDI. So super easy, super simple, and this is also being used a lot in studios. In fact, the system's been tracking me since we started. So let me show you the interface. Here you can see the operating interface. We have manual controls for pan, tilt, zoom in focus, as well as engaging the autofocus. And on the bottom left, we have a sensitivity for the tracking. But I think what may have caught your eye already is the tracking in action. As you can see on the screen, the image recognition of the computer vision engine that underlies Polymotion Chat Pro for Panasonic detects the body and it detects all the limbs within the body and then paints these dots over it and that skeletal marker so you see where it is. Now, you see the green lines around that, that's the area in which the, it has to keep me. So when I move outside of that, it will now start to move and track me. In this case, it's very gentle because I've set the sensitivity quite low. However, I can adjust that and make that quite a little bit higher reduce the area where I want the tracking to occur. So let's say I want the system to keep up with me a little bit faster. So I make that smaller. So when I go outside of that you know, outer circle, then it will track me. And I can actually live resize this or you know, adjust this while on air and the system will really smoothly track me. I'm gonna just you know, put myself as a center of attention here, zoom in a little bit and show you that the system actually, you know, just really gently, when I go and you know, rub Dean's shoulder here, <laughs> comes and follows me across. So as I move across, it will just natural looking motion, really smooth and gentle, no matter what the perspective is, it will just follow me and track me. And I can make that motion faster, as I said earlier. And even if I turn around, because you know, in universities, you don't always have control over your talent, it still continues to track because I know, or it knows that I'm a person and thus maintain that tracking target. Now, because it's doing limb recognition for the tracking, I can also use auto framing. Because it knows the size of my body, I can now zoom in or use this auto framing feature and have the system zoom in automatically, just giving me that headroom that I want within the shot really nicely coming in. If I want that to be slightly smaller, tight, tighter, I can do that too. And the system will come in and adjust the framing automatically. There we go, so it's a much tighter shot. And if I move around again, it will keep up with me adding some really nice gentle motion that looks natural and is really good for on-air motion as well as your post-production shots. Now we did promise you a musical interlude and we're going to switch over to Dean here for some uh, bass guitar lessons and I'm going to switch over to make him the center of attention by zooming out really simply and then as he's in frame I can click on him and the tracking will now start and continue with him. The moment we've all been waiting for. So speaking of a center of attention, tracking talent on stages is one of the best things that we can do with the AWUE 150 and UE 100 PTZ cameras as they're used constantly within live event applications. So let's take that in this real example here in the studio. If I'm now a musician and I'm picking up, say, this bass guitar, which is a rather large obtrusive object which can 
interfere with tracking, this is not an issue. And if I then move into a position where I might be delivering a key performance, we've then got the tilting of the Panasonic camera moving with the Polymotion Chat Pro system. Now the artist might stand up going into the next segment, and then we can also see the camera and the software tracking still with ease. If the artist is moving around or playing in different positions, as Sasha was demonstrating earlier, this is still not a problem. You can see the value of this as it takes a single operator to be able to set up the software and then be able to track the talent with ease. But now let's say something's gone wrong on the stage to my right, and now Sasha is the roadie. Still, with the artist performing, if we have someone running across stage or maybe there's another celebrity or presenter that might be there, we can still fix the issue and the artist can still carry on with talent being tracked with ease. I think this is a really good example and it's one of the biggest questions that we receive within studio applications or live event applications, especially with these types of performances and auto tracking with PTZ cameras. Another application I was saying about studios could also be something like cooking. Yeah, that's right. We've actually had a number of uh, customers use it in cooking shows where you know, the, the chef is there and he has to take something out of the oven, so turns around, still being tracked, picks it up and continues with the cooking show or has a guest on where, like right now, we have two targets being tracked and even me moving around while it's on Dean isn't confusing the system. And as we demonstrated earlier, I can just really simply uh, reposition where we want the tracking to be and actually just click on me in the center of the frame or wherever you've positioned um, you know, the, the target area for that shot. So Sasha, you've been a presenter, a roadie and a chef in one video. Thank you very much for demonstrating and also thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you can see how simple it is to set up the system, get going and start integrating into your projects with this solution. Yeah, we are really excited to see what, what kind of applications you come up with. So do let us know. Uh, really excited to see where you take this software and its capabilities. Thank you. Thank you.